Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. Tonight's revolting recital, Proctor Valley Road by Ridicles. In the more rural part of San Diego County, there's a place known as Proctor Valley. Proctor Valley is a large and mostly deserted area with only one road. Stories and reports of unusual sightings in this area date back almost a hundred years. Strange reports began when cattle belonging to local ranchers were often found dead and mutilated. Other perfectly healthy livestock also died frequently, with no apparent cause of death. Some animals, including family pets, were found butchered in the aftermath of what appeared to be bizarre rituals conducted in the area. It's never been discovered who or what was responsible for these disturbing acts. The locals in the area became truly concerned when two children disappeared from a local rancher's home. The parents awoke to find the children missing from their rooms, and the rancher later found their tracks leading away from the home. The tracks led into the surrounding wilderness, and simply disappeared without a trace. Search parties were organized, but the children were never found. Another strange case involved the Proctor Valley Bakery. The bakery was one of the first businesses founded in the area. The owner of the business moved to Proctor Valley with his wife and two children and he opened his bakery soon after that. He was successful, kind, and a respected member of the community, until one day he was found at home, having murdered his wife and children. The man was found on his knees, crying over their bodies. He was still dressed in his kitchen whites, though at this point they were covered in blood. He told investigators he had no memory of what had happened and simply woke to find himself hovering over the bodies of his family. There were many unverified stories of rapes and murders in the area as well. There are many who think the area is haunted by restless ghosts and demons. The truth is, there are some places in the world that are ancient and inherently evil. Proctor Valley seems to be one of these places. Today the valley is home to a small community, and it has one road running through it known as Proctor Valley Road. The road is old and can take you between the cities of Chula Vista and Jamul, near San Francisco, California. Over the years, many have reported strange occurrences after driving on the road. There isn't much to see if you decide to drive during daylight. You might notice a few ranch houses and abandoned buildings scattered along the roadside, but not much else. If you're feeling brave, however, you can take a drive along Proctor Valley Road after dark. It doesn't matter if you start on the road heading east or west. The important thing to remember is under no circumstances are you to stop along the road. In fact, before heading out, make sure your car has no mechanical issues and a full tank of gas. Beware, there have been reports of perfectly operational cars breaking down, although this is rare. You will most likely encounter things that will make you reluctant to continue driving, but once you decide to drive the road after dark, there's no changing your mind. Yes, it's entirely possible you won't encounter anything unusual on your drive. Many people have driven the road and reported nothing beyond a strange, uneasy feeling throughout the trip. However, if you do see anything unusual, don't stop your car. You may see things that cause you to feel concerned, confused, or even something that will terrify you. Just remember to stay in your vehicle and continue driving. The road begins as a typical paved street. Before long, you'll come across a sign indicating the end of the pavement and the rest of your trip will be along a dirt road. Once you've gone that far, keep your eyes open. Don't let anything distract you. Your phone will most likely lose signal once you reach this point. If you do still have signal, you'll notice the battery on your phone will decline rapidly. The first strange thing that you might see is a lady in a blue dress. Sightings of the lady in the blue dress are the most commonly reported paranormal activity on Proctor Valley Road. You might see her standing along the roadside attempting to flag you down. You might also see her curled into a fetal position. Whatever the case, ignore her. Keep driving. 
The history behind the lady in the blue dress is unknown, but everyone who has encountered her has described a horrible feeling of dread. Many say she's no lady at all, but some kind of demon trying to convince you to stop. No one knows for sure, but under no circumstances are you to stop for her. If you decide to drive with your windows down, which I don't recommend, it's possible that you will hear a piercing scream echo through the hills. Some individuals have reported their vehicle completely breaking down upon hearing the scream, and they weren't able to start it up again until the scream subsided, which can take several minutes. If this happens, keep calm until you start your vehicle, then exit the area as quickly as possible. Do not get out. If you drive along Proctor Valley Road during a full moon, you might see strange creatures in the countryside. Some have reported sightings of a large beast they describe as similar in appearance to an ape. Others have seen large coyotes walking upright on their hind legs. Further reports indicate sightings of a large furry bovine creature with bells attached to it wandering the road. The Bonita Museum near Proctor Valley Road claims to have a cast footprint of this creature. You may also discover small handprints appearing along your windows. Ignore this and continue to drive. I recommend that if you drive at night, you don't go alone. There truly is safety in numbers in some cases. However, sometimes passengers will report strange occurrences happening with one another. One woman accompanied her sister and her sister's boyfriend during the drive. The woman stated that she fell asleep in the back seat, and when her sister looked back to check on her, she was horrified to see a horned, shadowy figure with red eyes hovering over her. She stated that she knew, without a doubt, that this was the devil. Others have reported strange behavior displayed by their passengers. Even the calmest, most passive individuals have been known to act paranoid, aggressive, violent, even hysterical. Whatever the case, do not allow your passengers to distract you until you reach the other side of the road. The rarest and most terrifying thing that you might encounter is what's known as the demon car of Proctor Valley Road. No one knows where it came from or why it inhabits the area. You might see headlights appear behind you, possibly as far as a mile away. Before long, you'll find the headlights are right behind your vehicle, regardless of how fast you're driving. If you drive off the road, they'll follow. You'll have a very hard time outrunning it. The headlights will back off every so often before suddenly moving forward to within an inch of your rear bumper. The headlights will move violently back and forth and you'll hear a horn honking at you repeatedly. Do not stop your car. Do not attempt to turn around. Keep driving until you reach pavement. Once you do, you'll see the headlights stop turn around and drive back in the other direction. It'll disappear into the night faster than you thought possible, and the headlights will no longer be visible. It's possible that you'll encounter other strange things along the road that I haven't mentioned here. Whatever the case, continue driving until you're on the other end of the road. Once you've reached the pavement again, things should be back to normal. Throughout the years, there have been many stories of tragedy and terror stemming from Proctor Valley. Perhaps all the stories are just old legends started by ranchers to keep people out of the area. Maybe none of the stories are true. Still, there appears to be something inherently terrifying about this valley and this road. Something that awakens an instinctual prehistoric terror buried inside all of us. Maybe it's best to just be cautious while driving there at night, at least until you've reached the end of the road. So stay scary, my wildlings. Drive safe. Don't stop for ghosts, demon cars, or rear-foot walking quadrupeds, and make the most of your nights. <laughs>